Okay, hi everybody. I'm Claire Cooley. This is The Creativity Show. I'm so glad you're here and I really appreciate you telling your friends and uh, loved ones about this. All of my life I've heard people say, probably the most repeated thing I've heard in my life is, I wish I were more creative. I wish I was more creative. And you're so creative. How'd you get so creative? And so that's why I'm doing this show is it really feels good, hopefully, to help others to strengthen their connection to their imaginations, their courage to express it, and confidence to share it with others. So that's what this is all about. And I'm doing now stencils because it's such a universally applicable, fun and functional, fabulous art form. And the more we use our imaginations, the lighter we can walk on the earth. Uh, it's frugal, it's economical and ecological to use our imaginations whenever possible. I, like many people, had some extreme challenges in my upbringing, no money, no that sort of advantage. But I've always loved um, the feeling of creating. It's joyous and it also makes me feel like I can create the life I want. And no matter what life I was born into, I have some uh, ability to guide the circumstances around me. As you can see, loving natural stuff, sticks and feathers and nests and they're all free um, on walks in nature, which is where I go to restore myself on a daily basis. Always have. In nature is the, the designer. Uh, Earth is our home. It's our only home. And so this project I'm doing now, using stenciling and incorporating everything that uh, inspires me, my gratitude for this beautiful planet we live on, the replenishing restorative aspects of nature, free and easy to, to get inspiration, just looking around us and seeing beautiful things. And, and uh, I've never met a stick I didn't love. I've never met a rock I didn't love. Some um, are more applicable to art projects than others, but um, I love everything in nature. And, and human, human beings, we are part of nature. And some of us, um, sometimes in our lives, we get so busy and, and we don't realize that we're part of this beautiful network of all these materials and life forms and we all matter each and every one of us every bug matters every bird matters uh, every fish matters and every person matters and we're all connected and in this together so this this stenciling part of these live streams is to show you how simple this is i did this week uh, Thank you, Sue. Uh, my heart is warmed every time I hear from you. I really appreciate that. And, and we are, yeah, you know, uh, we are the light in each other's lives. So let's shine on each other. Um, I can. Yes. Good afternoon. Thank you so much, Sue, for that lovely compliment. Um, and I do hope that uh, we can find the light within us. Uh, as many of you already know, Incandescence is the title of my memoir because my mother said to me, and I have the beautiful note she wrote, um, did you know you have inner incandescence, dear? Well, we all do. and. And sometimes there's a great advantage and disadvantage in that we have to look inside for 
that that happiness, that joy, find it and and share it with others in order to keep going through some hard times. And I've certainly had to do that. It's what I've done all my life. It's what I've tried to do all my life is live as much in creative reverie and share the joy of creativity and the problem solving aspects of having an, an engaged imagination. Good for us, good for our economic situation, good for ecological situation, so that we can solve our problems, enhance our lives, and, and share the joy and healing aspects of creativity that we don't have to pay for. We all have access to an imagination, and there's so much we can do with so little sticks and feathers and stones and nests, and here's one of my first stencil projects was because um, someone in town asked me to work with the disadvantaged youth. And so I thought, well, this project is something we could do together. So I cut piece in 48 different languages and we made banners from floor to ceiling that were hung all over their cafeteria together. We did that, the, all, the, all the youth worked together and accomplished it as a collaborative process and so I made this example of that project and stencils have used on walls, pillows, platters, furniture, clothing and I'm now working on something that's been a dream of mine. I realized very recently for over half a century ago I got this inspiration that I'm calling Essence of Everything that is based on the four seasons. And um, it, you know, when I realized that this was a, a degree plan I wrote when I was 18, when I thought I'll go to school and get a degree and get a dance therapy credential. But I thought, you know, I don't need to borrow money for me to get educated. Uh, you know, to have my degree committee say, you can educate yourself, um, you have your own way, your own path. I thought, why am I borrowing money for them to tell me I can educate myself? Perhaps it's better, less stressful for me to not borrow money to get a degree, just do what I believe is right. And so I dropped out of school when um, I figured that out for me. I think the path of school is great for some people and credentials are great for some people, but it wasn't my path. So my path was to just keep doing what I believe in, which is healing myself through creative expression, stimulating the immune system for all of us and sharing that with others. So I ended up being an artist in residence in schools and I worked was asked to work at mental hospitals and drug rehab and juvenile delinquent homes and with nurses and therapists so I'm still a creativity coach because as much as I love expressing myself I love helping other people find their inspiration their unique voice to share with the world the more diversity in any environment the the healthier it is so the more of us that share our unique perspective and aesthetic, the healthier, hardier, more vital humanity is. So let us celebrate the diversity and um, let us, you know, respect one another's differences and share and accept our own and share our own unique essence. So this essence of everything uh, based on the four C's and this, um, crane silver cranes that I did this week um, for my own enjoyment and this white cranes um, I did a couple weeks ago on these short kimonos all of these clothing that I'm doing this stenciling on I've gotten at used stores or people have given to me because they didn't couldn't find a use for it so they gave it to me thinking well Claire will figure out a use and 
Uh, boy, they're right. So here's one of the costumes for Essence of Everything based on the Four Seasons. This is winter, cranes and evergreens. And the color for winter will be blue. The metal is silver. The element is air, contemplative winter. And then here's spring that I did this week. Bo, would you like to show the um, spring fish being stenciled? Which um, I did this week, so he's going to share that stenciling happening. And oops, I've changed the order. I'm very spontaneous. But um, so spring is fish and bronze, water, green. And here's the video of it going. And the, I love um, stenciling because, you know, you, you make your, your drawing and then you turn it into a stencil design by, not, by having areas that um, don't cross over each other, separate spaces that the paint goes through the stencil and you take care of them and you can have them for life and use them in so many different ways. Um, I've used this stencil uh, up in our guest apartment uh, bathroom with its all sea themes. And we've shared that in a, in a previous video, so you could see that if you look back. All these videos are on YouTube on the, my creativity the creativity show is my youtube channel so all the previous videos are there and you can go to the one you want and go to the place in it you want so let's show this silver cranes happening bow this one that i also did this week and um it's another version i've done the white cranes i've done the gold cranes on the scarf that um you can also see in one of the previous videos. So these silver cranes, let's show that video. And I love, it's kind of magic um, when you use these stencils and, and you're putting uh, the paint through the, the shapes that have been cut in the stencil, either with a razor blade, a hot knife. I did this with a hot knife. Um, and then I got a stencil cutting machine called a Cricut that um, has really obviously made the process a lot simpler, especially since now I have 300 stencils. Um, you know, cutting them by hand didn't seem like the, the right use of my time. I'm about being efficient because art, life, uh, you know, time is a resource. It's precious. and and we need to uh, manage it well to do the, have the time for our joyous and healthy and happy activities. So let's, um, there's, there's the silver cranes and evergreens that I, uh, this, this short one I, I can actually wear, um, not the long ones are, the costume for the essence of everything performance piece. So um, let's show the uh, studio, our over 100 year old carriage house that we turned into a studio where we can do art, uh, video projects. And today we brought the lights out there. And here's the space. Um, with the lights, uh, do you have the one that doesn't have the green screen in it? This is the green screen, huh? Okay, so we have this green screen and a white screen behind it. And there's my Four Seasons test for the concept of putting all Four Seasons in one painting. And um, then I 
for the performance piece, I'm going to paint each of the floor to ceiling panels that you'll see again in a second. Uh, they're going to be a one season a piece. So uh, can we see that again, Bo? Oh, you're getting the one without the green screen? Okay, well, while he's working on that, um, we're Mother Son Productions. My storytelling, writing, movie making son, Bodie Werner, his YouTube channel, Bodie the Movie Maker. I was so honored, delighted, thrilled when he asked me to work with him and named us Mother Son Productions because we have very um, different and complementary skills and perspectives. Uh, so together, we're, um, it's a very com a comprehensive combination of, of skills. I'm very hands-on. I, can, you know, have made, every, you know, furniture, dishes, uh, the home decor, jewelry that I'm wearing, the outfits. Uh, there's so many writing, dancing, music, so much variety in my artistic expressions, but it's all the the most um, primitive forms of creative expression where he is fascinated by technology, uh, but it's a fabulous, uh, fabulous mix of skills. And of course, the technology allows us to share it with you. And hopefully you'll tell your friends about it. The part neither one of us is really great at because we're so busy creating um, the art and the stories and then now these videos and live streams that uh, telling people about it and promoting it is the part neither one of us uh, have done, are good at, have time to do. So we really appreciate it when you, when you pass the word around about what we're doing. So you see in this video the four flo floor to ceiling panels. Those will be the four seasons and you see the kimonos there, those are going to one season each kimono. So the essence of everything, back when I was 18 and I wrote this degree plan, it was called the study of movement. And the idea was that I would earn a degree by taking a particular inspiration, which is turned into the four seasons, uh, which incorporates animals and botanicals and elements and color, the four primary colors and metals and moods and feelings and four times a day. Um, why I'm calling it the essence of everything, it's, it's incorporating as much as I can into these four panels and four costumes, which will be the four kimonos and there will be spoken word about each season that will turn into organically turn into uh, the vision um, the spoken word will then turn into a chant which will then turn into a song which will be accompanied by my bamboo flute and percussion and ambient sounds from each season and then it will be the music for the last movement of the performance piece, which will be dance. And my particular love is dancing on skates. So with the spoken word, visual movement, music, and with Bodhi videoing it, it will be a tremendously multifaceted, multimedia, comprehensive performance piece, which is the other thing that I'm thrilled to share um, is that creativity is there for all of us to, to feel, enjoy, heal, and enhance our lives by expressing, share it with others, share the joy with the world, share our particular, everybody has beauty to share with the world, everyone has their own truth and knowledge to share with the world and if we do it creatively we can 
have a joyous time doing it and make the world a, a more interesting and hopefully functional place. And so the reason, essence of everything, um, all these years later, like I said, more than half a century later, I'm doing that vision I had at 18 because I love the experience of the arts just flowing through us, uh, creativity flowing through us, and that we get to channel it any way we like. And if we allow ourselves to play and have fun, kids can play with anything. The older we get, the more critical um, life can become around us. We can hear people, you know, saying things that may be get us to shut down and so I say, you know, invite the critical mind to take a break and let the playful, creative mind enjoy itself. And so we don't have to be a master at the art form in order to create moving art. So this study of movement, this inner interplay of the arts flowing in all these different directions through one artist and then her son turning it into a video um, is a demonstration of that. I don't think I'm better at any any of the art forms than other people. I'm my, my expertise is being me, and that is the thing we can be an expert at is that no one else can is being ourselves, and that's I believe the most meaningful thing we can share with others. So. Give yourself permission to explore and express your creativity and, and collect and share it with people that are supportive. And those who are not supportive, just, you know, love them at a distance, move further away from them, and um, don't uh, let them take your fun out of the learning. And learning keeps our brains active it's the best cure for not getting dementia they say is to keep learning so the more we keep exploring instead of settling or fearing we're not going to be good enough uh, keep, just keep enjoying your own curiosity and follow your own inspiration and then you know share what you're ready when you're ready with others so that's that's what essence of everything is for me a way to sh demonstrate creativity can flow in any direction we like and that nature is my muse and I want to show my respect for planet earth and nature and all its creatures and all its resources and humanity and its diversity accepting each other working together is how we're going to address the challenging issues we have in the world now and the more we use our imagination, the lighter we can walk on the earth, the less uh, we need to buy things, drive places, do all kinds of things that are harder on the environment than um, being still with ourselves and writing or painting or writing a song or making a movie. Uh, we, can, we can enjoy and, and be on an adventure throughout our life by exploring our own creative curiosity and sharing it with others. So that's what it's all about for me. And um, I hope there's something here that inspires you or informs you or gives you a little, uh, little impetus to enjoy your own imagination and and share it with others and i love to get your feedback on what you want to hear more about see more and i'm going to keep sharing essence of everything is going to be uh, the whole process as i turn it into this multimedia performance piece i'm going to be sharing on these uh, saturday live streams and then of course the final performance so um, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye. Thank you.